Welcome to the episode 222 of What A Fab Day. I am your host, Simon Mas. Today, we'll talk about a concert on a ship, the end of a tour, and a controversial interview. On the 10th of August 1961, the Beatles, featuring Pete Best on drums, had a double feature in Liverpool. They performed at a Cavern Club for their 24th lunchtime slot and followed it up with their seventh performance at the St. John's Hall. One year later, in 1962, the same lineup of the band took part to their third Riverboat Shuffle event, organized by Cavern Club owner Ray McFall. Like we anticipated in episode 187 and will further outline in episode 237, this was a rock and roll cruise on the River Mercy, lasting the entire evening. This time, the band was second in the bill after Johnny Kidd and the Pirates, who had a number one hit with Shaking All Over in 1960. Also on the stage, Pete McLean and the Dakotas, an instrumental group from Manchester that would later back singer Billy Kramer. In 1963, the Beatles, now with Ringo Starr on drums, played the Springfield Ballroom in saint Savoir, Jersey, for the last of their Five Night Challenge Islands tour. Let's close the episode with an interview that caused quite a bit of controversy in 1968. It was on this date that Paul McCartney was interviewed by Alan Smith for Enemy. During the interview, linked in the episode description, Paul claimed that he didn't care about helping out disabled or poor people in India. He couldn't be a hypocrite and pretend that, I quote, an Oxfam ad can reach down into the depths of your soul. And with this, we can close the episode. Thank you for your continuing support that will help me to keep on producing more and better music-related content. In case you are new and you fancy doing your bit to contribute, please head to www.simonmas.com support and check it out. There's a lot you can do, with a little donation or in many other ways that only require minimal effort on your behalf. Tomorrow we'll talk about the start of the last Beatles tour. For the moment, I wish you a good day and a fab continuation. Simon Mas, music you love.